Arnold Schwarzenegger defeats Sergio Oliva for the first time, and it's only hours after he won the NABA Mr. Universe in London. All the details of the 1970 AAU Professional Mr. World coming up next on Bodybuilding History. I will be forever the myth. You're the king of kings, <laughs> There's always a pecking order. The little peckers never mess with the big peckers. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken for the feet. Welcome to another episode of Bodybuilding History. I'm your host, John Hansen, from the Bodybuilding Legends podcast and the website bodybuildinglegendshow.com. Today, I'm going to talk about the 1970 AAU Mr. World Contest, which was held in Columbus, Ohio, on September 19th and 20th at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium. And it was promoted by Arnold's future business partner, Jim Lorimer. The 1970 AAU Mr. World Contest was unique in a couple different ways. First of all, the AAU, which was the Amateur Athletic Union, never promoted any professional competitions. All their competitions were strictly amateur. Of course, the AAU was the organization that promoted the AAU Mr. America Contest, which at the time was the biggest amateur bodybuilding competition in the country. All of the AAU bodybuilding competitions back then were always held with a weightlifting competition. For example, the Mr. America contest was always held with the national weightlifting championships. The AAU Mr. USA was always held with the national powerlifting championships and so on. In 1970, Jim Lorimer, who lived in Columbus, Ohio, had promoted the 1967 AAU Mr. America contest, and he had done such a good job with it that the AAU wanted him to promote the World Weightlifting Championships and they wanted to hold it in Columbus, Ohio that year. Jim knew that in order to have a really big crowd at the contest, they would need to hold a bodybuilding competition along with it. Jim decided to hold the Amateur AAU Mr. World Contest along with the World Weightlifting Championships. And for the first time, he wanted to hold a professional Mr. World Contest. So Jim decided to invite all the top bodybuilders of that era to his professional Mr. World contest. So he invited Dave Draper, Sergio Oliva, who was already a three-time Mr. Olympia winner, and he invited Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold was second to Sergio at the Mr. Olympia in 1969, and he was already a four-time winner of the NABA Mr. Universe contest. So the story goes that Jim Lormer called up Arnold at Gold's Gym. Arnold was in the middle of a workout, and Jim told him that he was holding a professional Mr. World contest and he wanted Arnold to compete in it and the winner would get $500. And Arnold supposedly told Jim, $500 or $5,000, it doesn't matter. I'm in the middle of a workout. Call me back later. And he hung up the phone. When Arnold finally did talk to Jim Lorimer, Jim told him all the details of the contest and he told him that the contest was going to be taking place on the weekend of September 19th, which was also the same weekend that the NABA Mr. Universe contest was taking place in London. Arnold told Jim, I would love to do your contest, but I can't because I'm already committed to competing in the Mr. Universe contest that weekend in London, England. So Jim Lorimer thought about it and then he proposed an idea to Arnold. He told Arnold that if Arnold could go to Heathrow Airport Sunday morning after competing in the Mr. Universe on Saturday, that Jim Lorimer would arrange a flight to have Arnold flown to Columbus, Ohio and he would be able to compete in the Mr. World contest. And Arnold said, okay, if you can arrange that, I'll do it. Arnold, along with his friend, Franco Colombo, Boyer Co, and Dave Draper, who were all competing in the 1970 NABA Mr. Universe contest, went to Heathrow Airport in London, and they were flown directly to New York. From there, all four bodybuilders boarded a private plane that was arranged by Jim Lorimer, and they flew directly from New York to Columbus, Ohio, in time for, to compete in the professional Mr. World contest. So the contest was promoted by Jim Lorimer and his partner, Dick Bratlinger from Columbus, Ohio. They had 4,000 people show up at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Columbus, Ohio for a complete sellout. And it was even filmed for television by ABC's Wide World of Sports. This was the first time that a professional bodybuilding competition had been shown on television on Wide World of Sports. So it was really history in the making. 
The contest actually began on Saturday, September 19th with the amateur division. They had featured two classes, a short class and a tall class. There was only seven competitors in the short class. It featured competitors from the USA, from Iran, and London, England. First place went to Kurt Hayward from Patascala, Ohio. What's interesting is that Kurt was also helping Jim Lorimer to promote the contest, and he was running around backstage getting things done, and he was competing in the contest at the same time. Second place in the short class went to Annabelle Lopez from New York City. Annabelle was a frequent competitor in the AAU. He took third place at that year's Junior Mr. America contest, and Annabelle would go on to compete in the Mr. America contest for many years after that. And then third place went to James Hanley from York, Pennsylvania. Uh, James also won Best of Dominoes at the AAU Mr. USA contest. The tall class featured seven competitors. Six of them were from the USA, and one competitor came from the Philippines. Ken Waller, who was from Cincinnati, Ohio, was the easy winner in this class. Ken was already a top competitor in the AAU. He took second at that year's Mr. America contest, which was won by Chris Dickerson. And Ken also won the AAU Junior Mr. USA and the Mr. USA the year before in 1969. Gene Massey from West Hollywood, Florida was in second place. Gene had won the overall of the AAU Mr. Florida and the AAU Mr. Southern USA the year before. Tragically, Gene Massey died in a plane crash in 1975. And then Kent Keene from Lansing, Michigan was third place in the tall class. Kent had placed second in the most muscular division at the AAU Junior Mr. USA that same year. The finals for the AAU Mr. World Contest did not take place until Sunday, the September 20th, to coincide with the athletes from the professional division competing. When the awards were given out, Ken Waller won the overall in a unanimous decision, and he was now one of the best amateur bodybuilders in the country, and he was a favorite to win the Mr. America contest the next year. So the professional division of the 1970 AAU Mr. World Contest was held on Sunday, September 20th. And from what I read, they had to hold the contest later in the day because they had to wait for Arnold and Franco and Dave Draper and Boyer Co. to finally arrive at the contest and compete. So the bodybuilders didn't even get on stage until 9 p.m. on Sunday night. The professional division was held in two height classes, the short class and the tall class. The short class only had four competitors, and those included Franco Colombo, Boyer Co., Zabel Kwasuski, who was now 48 years old, and Ladislav Zela from Czechoslovakia. This contest was a really tight decision between Boyer Co. and Franco Colombo. Now, on the day before, on Saturday, September 20th in London, Boyer won the short class in the professional division of the Nava Mr. Universe, and he had actually won the amateur division the year before in 1969. Franco had taken second place in the amateur division the day before in London at the Mr. Universe contest. But one day later at the Mr. World contest, Franco beat Boyer for first place by a four to three vote from the judges. Third place went to Ladislav Zale from Czechoslovakia and Zabel Kwasuski, 48 years old, was in fourth place. The tall class of the professional division also had four competitors. These included Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sergio Oliva, Dave Draper, and Dennis Tenorino. This was a real exciting class with four great bodybuilders, and everybody was excited to see the rematch between Schwarzenegger and Oliva after Sergio had beaten Arnold at last year's Mr. Olympia contest. And from what I read in the reports of the contest, Sergio was not aware that Arnold was competing in the contest. So he was very surprised when Arnold showed up and then they had to hold the contest later in the night in order to wait for Arnold and Boyer Co. and Dave Draper and Franco to compete in the show. So Sergio was even bigger than he was a year ago, but he was not as cut as he had been in 1969. A mistake that Sergio made in the Mr. World contest was he put too much oil on his body and ABC television was using these really bright floodlights in order to light the stage enough for the television viewing. As a result, Sergio looked too smooth because all the oil he applied on his body was reflecting off the lights and it made him appear even smoother than he was. And Arnold, of course, was coming off a victory only one day earlier at the Napa Mr. Universe in the professional division. This was Arnold's fourth Napa Mr. Universe victory. Arnold, like Sergio, was also bigger than he was a year ago, but he was also very defined and he was, of course, riding high because he had just won a contest the day before. 
Arnold had good color and he put just the right amount of oil on. So his body looked great under the very bright lights that were used by ABC television. The results of the contest was that Arnold received all the first place votes from the judges, although many judges had a hard time deciding who should be first between him and Sergio. From Austria, welcome to our stage, please, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, 22 years of age, now living in Los Angeles. A few days ago in London, he won the Mr. Universe competition. Here he is trying to put back to back two great physique titles. This one for Mr. World. He's the challenger to Sergio Oliva. Weighs almost 230 pounds. He's known to have a very, very heavy upper body. As we can see here, you might notice the muscle highlights. He pumps himself up by having blood rush to those muscles. Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the winner, the challenger coming into this competition. What a big day for this youngster from Austria. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And what a physique he has. We'd hear more from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sergio, as can be expected, was very disappointed to lose to Arnold because he was already a three-time Mr. Olympia and he was considered the very best in all the world of bodybuilding. So this was a crushing defeat for Sergio. Dave Draper took third place, which was exactly the same place he got one day earlier when he competed in the Nava Mr. Universe in the professional division. Dave was in third place in that contest behind Arnold and Reg Park. And then Dennis Tenorino, who won the 1967 Mr. America contest at this same location at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Columbus, he took fourth place Dennis also was a former NABA Mr. Universe. He won the amateur event in 1968, but he didn't really look ready for this contest. He wasn't tan enough, and that didn't help him with those bright stage lights that were being used by ABC television. So the overall Professional Mr. World contest was decided between Franco Colombo and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arnold beat his friend Franco Colombo to win the overall at the AAU Professional Mr. World contest. So Arnold's victory set up a great showdown in the Mr. Olympia contest two weeks later between him and Sergio. That contest took place Saturday, October 3rd, 1970 in New York City. So Arnold Schwarzenegger was so impressed with the great job that Jim Lorimer did in arranging the flight from London to Columbus and the way he promoted the contest and the fact that it was on ABC television on Wide World of Sports that he told Jim Lorimer that when he retires from bodybuilding competition, he wanted to start promoting competitions, and he wants Jim Lorimer to be his partner. Well, of course, Arnold retired in 1975 after he won his sixth Mr. Olympia contest in Pretoria, South Africa. And the very next year, Arnold and Jim Lorimer started promoting contests together. They promoted the Mr. Olympia contest in Columbus at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium from 1976 until 1979. They also promoted the professional Mr. Universe contest in 1980, and then they promoted the 1981 Mr. Olympia in Columbus, Ohio. They promoted the Mr. Olympia again in 1986, and then Arnold and Jim promoted the Professional World Championship for a couple of years, and then eventually they started their own contest, which was called the Arnold Classic, which has continued all the way up until today. Jim Lorimer passed away on November 24th, 2022, at the age of 96. But his contributions to the world of bodybuilding are really legendary. And this was one of the highlights of his contest career when he promoted the Mr. World Contest in 1970. And it was the first big win for Arnold Schwarzenegger over Sergio Oliva. Another amazing event that happened at this competition was that the Russian weightlifter Vasilia Alexia, who was considered the best weightlifter during his era, pressed overhead for the very first time ever 500 pounds, setting the world record. And that event took place at the same event that Arnold Schwarzenegger beat Sergio Oliva at the Mr. World Contest. So that's it for another episode of Bodybuilding History, brought to you by the Bodybuilding Legends Podcast. Be sure to listen to the Bodybuilding Legends Podcast every week on your favorite streaming service. And check out all the old episodes of the Bodybuilding Legend Podcast at our website, bodybuildinglegendshow.com. I'm John Hansen. We'll see you next time.